welcome to Soul Space Studio. I'm Julia. Let's welcome Pisces season. Today it's like so gorgeous as the sun moves into Pisces. Here where I am in the Pacific Northwest, we have so much sunshine and clear skies and the birds are singing and um, the squirrels keep popping up here on the deck, probably because I feed them too, but it's just been really fun out here today. So I came out and Thought, you know what a perfect opportunity to do a blog post which I haven't done in such a long time and for those of you that follow so space or me just to kind of give you an update so yeah that's what we're doing um, if you've been on the website lately uh, you'll see that there's been a few changes I seem to ever be in flux and so the website is also but I am updating it you'll notice under the offerings section you'll start to see some of my offerings put in there and then there's a subscribe page but each page has a subscribe button so this is an opportunity for you to stay in touch with me I love to get to know you and uh, I won't I promise I won't send you tons of emails because when I can't even keep up with my own life, let alone keep adding more and more things to send out to everyone else. So it will always just be something simple like um, first opportunity for some of the online things that I'm bringing um, into um, manifestation. Uh, when I do a newsletter, you would be receiving that as well. So yeah that's that's what's going on on the website i'm adding more and more offerings uh, many of those right now can be done online so and of course my private coaching and um, intuitive readings can all be done online so please don't hesitate to reach out it's best to schedule those things directly with me by reaching out um, uh, either email or messaging me on facebook or even here you can message me here as well so yeah please check out the website let me know what you think I've been really being very brave at going in there and making some adjustments and changes myself thankfully I spent some time with my Heather and she kind of held my hand and guided me through that so I'm again I'm feeling a little bit braver about doing that also on the website is I'm starting to put things into the shop can you hear the geese? It's wonderful. <laughs> it's so wonderful here on the bog. Um, yeah, I'm starting to put things into the shop. And uh, so please keep watch there. There'll be things that are for sale. This is also where eventually I'll have uh, more information on my intuitive readings and coaching too. Until then, it's still there. I'm still doing it. I have some openings available. Um, Ah, not this month, but I have openings available next month. So if anyone's interested in that, please reach out to me and let's get you on the schedule for that. Some of the things that are happening on the calendar coming up. Um, of course, Mondays is Meditation Monday. I still do that. If anyone's interested in that online, we can work something out that way. Uh, last Saturday, there was a sip and dip in studio. Dana facilitated that, and all the ladies, I think there were six ladies there. Their creations were amazing and beautiful, and everyone had such a good time doing that. So the next sip and dip will be March 14th. That's a Saturday. This Saturday is New Moon Dream Collage. The next one will be on the 21st of March. New Moon Dream Collage is an opportunity also that can be or that I'm working to have online. Um, but if you are here and you're interested in it, we'd love to have you join us. Um, I've been witnessing a, the group of ladies over a year now creating their New Moon Dream Collage and um, it's been amazing to see the things that they've brought into their lives um, and the things that they've recognized that they've been able to hone in on um, as well. My tiny cat is right there in the window. Let's see if I can. Uh, can you see her at all? Oh, there she is. <laughs> She's sitting there watching me wondering why she can't come outside. <laughs> Um, so it's it's a beautiful opportunity 
to put your dreams uh, and visions into a creative process and then really spend time with them over the month. And then as you do it month after month, you begin to have a collection of, of those. And yeah, we talk, we have a little bit of a time that we chat and then we go right into creating and yeah, I love it. It's so much fun. So um, that is this Saturday and then the next one will be March 21st. My friend Katie is offering a Calligraphy 101 class. She is a professional, I don't know what you call them, calligrapher. She does it um, and her work is beautiful. It will be on Wednesdays. So if you're interested in that and you are in the Blaine, Ferndale, Linden, Pacific Northwest, Washington area, um, reach out. We will get her class filled and then... Um, take uh, take a list of people who might be interested in taking it next time as well. So yeah, Artscape Teens is on Tuesdays from 3 to 5 and that is uh, at no cost. There's always snacks. Thank you to Judy who always makes sure that there's peanut butter and jelly and chips and delicious snacks and Joanne who always makes sure there's extra candy. <laughs> These youth come in and they, um, yeah, they just snack and visit and unwind and freely create. Uh, Soul Space is in um, partnership with a Healthy Youth Coalition. It's um, It's been a wonderful opportunity and a safe place and space for these youth to show up. It gets kind of crowded on Tuesdays. I had a lot of preteens coming in, and so we do have an opportunity for the preteens to have an Artscape preteen on Thursdays from 3 to 5 as well on Thursday. So if you have a teen in the area, this is a great opportunity for them to come in and have a little bit of social time, downtime, free creativity, or um, to just come in and chat. A lot of them will just come in and chat, and that too is awfully beautiful. I also want to take a minute to um, tell you of an invitation, of a challenge that I'd like to throw out there, and I hope that several of you will join me. Um, I'm here on the porch because I was doing a little meditation out here. Meditation has been one of the tools in my toolbox to help me with my panic attacks, anxiety, depression. Um, uh, yeah, yesterday I had an incident that took place that totally threw me into PTSD. I had, uh, it was crazy. Anyways, I'll share that in another post, but Meditation has been so key at bringing me back to center, to um, aligning me with um, the elements and uh, at a spiritual level as well. And the more I practice it, the deeper uh, I go into um, my true north, my true alignment, my true divinity. And I'm seeing this in those that really participate in Monday meditation, but it really is a gift that you give yourself daily, if not once, twice, or several times a week, that I'm finding that the more I'm doing it, the more I'm needing it. And so my invitation is a meditation invitation. Um, oh, that kind of rhymes. I love that. It's a challenge. Like if you want to, uh, we will kind of group together virtually. Uh, um, I can create a private group or we could just, we could Zoom once a week. I don't care how we do it. I'm just wanting to get people to say, yes, I'm up for the challenge. What I'd like to do is to invite us to challenge us to 33 days of meditation, particularly morning meditation. Because if we can skip grabbing the phone and doing the scrolling, first thing when we wake up and just take 11 or 22 or 33 minutes, whatever, even if it's two minutes, three minutes, whatever, to really get into, uh, into a state of meditation with intention of um, setting the course for your day, I think that you will find some incredibly magical moments um, will take place for you as they have for me. The reason why I've come up with 11, 22, and 33, like I encourage us to at least do it for 11 days straight in the morning, for 11 straight days. That's less than two weeks, right? 
And 11 is the number of tapping into intuition and spiritual growth. And so that's so like that's why I say 11 minutes or 11 days. Then if you can push through to 22, 22 is the number of envisioning and groundedness. Um, it helps to take that intuition that you've just start stirring within yourself over those 11 days and really beginning to envision it and ground it here um, where we are. And then uh, 33 is like this magical number of um, uh, higher consciousness of, you know, just think about the Trinity or the triple goddess, how many things come in threes, right? It's just that powerful that way. It's a mystic number for divine the divinity and divine wisdom and so I'm pushing through 11 22 33 I will have something uh, more written up for those who are interested I will post the invitation on the soul space Facebook page that you can find the link down below you can reach out to me if you're interested in doing it I just think it's gonna be incredibly incredibly magical I'm looking at the clock and it is now I've done this for 11 minutes and 11 seconds so it's about time for me to wrap up uh, it's just great to pop in and say hello. I hope that you're having some sunshine. I hope that you're welcoming the season of Pisces. I hope that you are out there in the elements, in nature, and connecting. And Yeah, blessings to each of you. Thanks for hanging in there with me, for um, wanting to stay in touch and in contact. And I look forward to visiting with you soon. I look forward to you um, checking out the, the website and giving me some um, yeah, what you think about it. So take care.